Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so today I'm doing an eye look with the new The Berries eyeshadow palette by Juvia's. This is what she looks like. She's absolutely gorgeous. And I was so excited to play in her. I really couldn't decide today which one I wanted to play with because I did pick up every single one of the eyeshadow palettes from her new launch. So this is just the first one I'm gonna do. I think I might do one with each palette. So I'm starting off, of course, creating some brows because you know I have struggle brows. So I am drawing some brows in using my e.l.f. brow pencil. And I'm cleaning them up like I always do using my Wet n Wild concealer. I use the shade Dark Cocoa just because it's not so light and bright around my eyes or around my eyebrows, I should say. So yeah, you guys, I was really excited to play with this palette today. I was like, should I do one video with all the palettes or should I do a video for each palette? So I just sat down and started putting makeup on. So here we go. <laughs> but yeah, I'm prepping my lids with my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I've been pretty much using this ever since I got it. I really like it as an eyelid prep. It just works out for me and I don't set it so I like how it works out but these are the colors once again and these shadows are not named they're numbered so as I tell you what shadow I'm using today I'm just going to say what number it is um, it makes it a bit easier <laughs> when there's no names but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and let you know what number but these swatches look absolutely beautiful, you guys. So I'm starting out with shade number five, this gorgeous bright pink. I mean, this pink is extremely bright. It has little teeny tiny flecks of, you know, like sparkle in it. I won't say glitter, cause it's not chunky, but there's, you know, little teeny tiny flecks in it, which you can't see. They don't show up. Um, I couldn't see them in my eye look, as you can see here. It just looks like a regular matte pink shadow, but it's very gorgeous and nicely pigmented. Now I wanted to go ahead and deepen it up a bit in my crease. So I'm taking shade number one, and I think this might be my favorite matte shade in the palette. I would like to create a look just using this one shadow all over my lid because it is so so pretty it's a gorgeous dark just berry shade and i think it would look gorgeous on its own i was happy that i was able to layer these shadows you can see how it did deepen up my crease a bit now i'm going into the lightest shade it's a uh, shade number two very very beautiful light pink it's kind of like a dusty rose color and i'm just using this to blend out the edge of that darker shade. And it actually worked very nicely to blend it out. I didn't have any issues with creating a nice gradient, as you can see. And to further deepen my outer and inner corners, I'm going into shade number six, just tapping that on top of those other shades, but just kind of staying within the outer and inner corner areas. Now, I was kind of concerned because I'm kind of used to working from dark to light with my shadows because I like working with pigment pigments, but these shadows layered very nicely. So I'm going in with my cut crease canvas, and initially the plan was just to do a regular cut crease, you know, so I can put these shimmers on my lid and keep it pushing. But as I was um, spreading out the cut crease on my lid I decided to just kind of keep it in a bit of a halo shape it's a bit larger <laughs> than I would normally like for a halo but this is what we are working with today so I'm going into shade number four this is a really pretty shimmer shadow um, Juvia's place shimmers are absolutely gorgeous and this one is no different very very pretty I didn't even wet my brush I just went in on top of my cut crease canvas and laid it down and as you can see it is very pigmented now I'm going in with some of my elf liquid eyeliner just creating an extremely bold wing today I don't know what's gotten into me lately you guys I'm just like 
here for the giant wings. <laughs> I don't know how long this is going to last as far as me wanting to create giant wings, but for some reason with these bold eye looks, I'm just really wanting bold wings. So that's what we have here today. Now I'm gonna go ahead and throw on a quick face starting out with my peach and lily glass skin refining serum i love this stuff you guys it's very very nice it is an excellent serum i love how it makes my skin feel now to prime i'm going in with this elf blurring primer serum i really like this primer as well if you guys have not tried this you like something that's kind of lightweight um, it really holds your makeup in place. It doesn't smell like anything and it's inexpensive. Try this out. Now for foundation today, I'm using my CoverGirl. This one is the True Blend Matte Made Foundation. I really like the coverage as well as the finish of this foundation, but it's a pretty good match, color match for me as well. It's kind of a strange tone. It's not like too orange or too yellow. It's just perfect for me. For concealer, I'm using my e.l.f. 16 hour camo. I'm almost out of this one, so I need to crack open another one, which I'm very happy because that means that I'm going through my products. <laughs> but yeah, I really like this concealer. It has great coverage. And I'm just going in with a damp brush today to blend it out. Usually I use my sponge, but I wanted to try something a little different today to see how I felt about it. And I mean, it's okay. You definitely don't lose as much product using a brush, but it is time consuming. It takes longer to blend things out with a brush than a sponge. Now to set those highlighted areas, I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. And I use the shade Deep. And I really like the tone of this powder. It sets under my eyes and my highlighted areas very nicely. It's not too bright, and I think it works well with my skin tone. Now to set the rest of my face in place, you guys know I love this Too Faced Complexion Powder. I have been using this stuff like crazy. I decided not to get a backup because I hadn't hit pan. And as soon as I said that, I hit pan. <laughs> so I'm not happy that I missed the sale on that. Now this is my Glamour Bronze bronzer from Morphe. You guys know this is basically my favorite bronzer right now. It just does the job easily, quickly. It's nicely buildable. It's not too orange and I think it goes well with my skin tone. Now today I wanted to use my Revolution and Patricia Bright collab palette. This is the face palette and I wanted to add just a little bit of contour. So I'm going into the contour shade and just kind of deepening up right under my cheekbones. As you can see, it lays down really quickly and easily. You can definitely see it, but it's not too, too harsh. Now this is one of my Black Friday purchases. I did not have any of the single Juvia's Place blushes. So I went ahead and grabbed this a freak one during her last sale. And the color is really pretty. I went in very gently because I didn't want anything crazy today with these bold eyes, but it's very, very pretty. And now I'm going back in for that highlight out of that Patricia Bright Face Palette. And as you can see, this highlight does not play. So I did go ahead and throw on some lashes today for this look. I'm going in with my Milani Black Pencil Eyeliner and just using that to line my lower lash line. And to smoke out my lower lash line, I'm going back into shadow number one and just placing that just below my lashes. Not anything too aggressive. I wanted to keep it really close to my lash line. So I'm using a smaller pencil type brush. Now I'm going back into shade two and actually using this for my inner corner pop. Lately, I've really been liking 
using a color for my inner corner as opposed to just a bright shimmer all the time. So I've kind of enjoyed choosing a matching color or shadow to go in my inner corner just to kind of bring the look together. Now for lips today, I'm actually using one of my e.l.f. lipsticks. I have not used this in forever. I bought this collection a long time ago and do not use them. So this is one of my matte lip colors from e.l.f. And to fill in my lips, I'm using my Revlon lipstick. This is one of the Ultra HD matte lip colors. I will list all of the products down below in the description box because I don't have all of the names right in front of me. And this is one of my LA Color High Shine Lip Glosses. It's kind of like a bright pink. So I thought it would go nicely with this look. Setting it all in place with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, of course. And this is the look. I'm not surprised at all, you guys, that I really like this palette. Nicely pigmented, bold eye look. I really enjoyed using it. Juvia's Place has some of the best eyeshadows, and she did not disappoint with this palette. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching, and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!